Today we will be installing fog lights on a 2002-2005 to Civic SI hatchback. Please make sure you have all the tools shown here before you proceed with the installation. Let's begin by opening the hood. Remove six plastic clips at the bottom of the front bumper. Remove two Phillips head screws indicated by red arrows. Remove a Phillips head screw located in the fender well. Towards the top of the bumper, remove four plastic clips attaching it to the radiator support. Now reach behind the fender liner and disconnect the bumper light socket. Carefully, remove the front bumper and set it aside. Using a marker, mark three points on the back of the bumper as you see here. Now drill holes through the three markings that we made earlier. Draw lines connecting the three holes as you see here. Now cut along the line that was drawn earlier with a knife or cutter, then remove the cutout. Place two spring nuts where there are guides molded into the bumper. Now pierce the center of the holes with a point. Then remove the spring nuts. Drill two holes where we pierced the drill guides earlier. Now replace the spring nuts. Install the metal bracket you see here to the back of the front bumper using two Phillips head screws. From the front of the bumper, place the fog light assembly into position. Tighten two Phillips head screws to secure the fog light assembly onto the bumper. Next, we will go inside of the cabin and remove the lower dash panel. Twist the knob to unlock and remove the dash under panel. Remove two Phillips head screws located on the roof of the dash pocket. Now remove the dash pocket. Towards the rear of the driver's side wheel well, we will remove two Phillips head screws, then the mud guard. Remove six plastic clips holding the fender liner in the wheel well.
Now go ahead and pull the fender liner aside. Push through and remove the hole plug you see here. Reach under the dash to remove the switch hole cover. Now run the connector end of the switch harness through the switch hole. Connect the fog light switch to the switch harness, then install the switch into the hole. Going under the dash, ground the test light and find a constant 12 volt power with the test light. Then, turn the key in the ignition so we can locate an ACC power wire with the test light as well. Using quick connectors, connect the thinner red wire on the switch harness to the ACC power wire we found earlier. Then connect the thicker red wire to the constant 12 volt wire. Find a suitable ground bolt under the dash to connect the switch harness ground wire to, then loosen the bolt. Attach the switch harness ground wire to the bolt, then tighten it. Run the fog light harness connector through the hole in the wheel well. Now run the wire up through the engine bay towards the front of the car. Using a pair of pliers, release the plastic clips that's holding the factory harness onto the radiator support. Now run the fog light harness along the factory harness and pull the fog light connectors on either side under the headlights towards the front of the car. Now connect the fog light harness to the switch harness. On the driver's side frame rail, you will see a ground bolt. Go ahead and loosen it. Connect the fog light harness ground wire to the bolt, then tighten the bolt. Zip tie the fog light harness to the factory harness behind the radiator support. Now reinstall the clips on the radiator support. Bring the front bumper close to the car then connect the fog light harness to the fog lights. Now we can reinstall the front bumper and replace all hardware in reverse order of removal.
please make sure to check all electrical connections and light function before taking your car back on the road. Thank you for choosing Specti Tuning videos to assist you. Please visit SpectiTuning.com for more products.